name is Miles Riley from the Forward Cortina Enthusiast Club of Ireland. On my left here we have a Forward Cortina Mark II. Uh, it's the 1600 E version, which was at the time the top of the range uh, executive model. And on my right is the Mark III, and that's also, it, that was, would have been considered the sport version, it's the two litre GT. Cortina started in 1962 with the Mark I and again the Mark I had variations from the basic 1200 up to a 1500 GT and there was also a Lotus version. Mark II uh, from 1966 on and again they had the basic 1300, the 1600 Super, a 1600 E, a 1600 GT. Then there was the Mark III, they started off with this 1300 and uh, there was a 1600, a 2 litre, a GT, a 2000 E or prior to the 2000 E there was the GXL. in 1977 when the Mark IV came in and the Mark IV was a, more or less the same mechanicals as the Mark III but the body was a, again a totally different shape. There, was, there wasn't a lot of difference between the Mark IV and the Mark V but there was subtle differences such as head height was different, the roof line was higher and um, small, uh, small variations. They were quite reliable and they were easy and simple. There was swapping out engines or swapping out gearboxes was a simple operation, swapping out back axles, which were the three basic components of the vehicles back in those days. When we're at a show, I think there's no doubt, but somebody will always come up and everybody's father or grandfather or uh, uncle or had a Cortina. And probably back in those days, people were very loyal to particular brands. And if you were loyal, Ford follower and Ford, because uh, Henry Ford originated in Ireland, I think that probably uh, boosted his standing in the Irish market. Mm -hmm. 